Okay, welcome to Bob uh, 423 demonstration of the iPad uh, Air 2 on the bottom left, the iPad Pro 12.1 on the top, and on the bottom right is the Samsung uh, Tab A 10.1. Let's uh, see how they compare relative to speed. First thing you want to do is to get rid of all other programs that are running. You see there's quite a few there. On the iPad, you upswipe to get rid of them. So they're all gone. And now you have a clean start. Let's go to Aquamap. And you see, uh, I'll go to where we're at today. We're in Southport. Let's move it here. And what I'll do is kind of show you that is practically uh, the thing. The map follows my finger around pretty well without any delay. Here we're scanning over to uh, Homer Smith, and again, nice and smooth, no delay. Every draw, of course, is a pretty powerful tablet. You would expect that. Let's take a look at the uh, Air 2, and that's a more uh, an older tablet. It's the oldest one that will run the current uh, iOS. Again, let's do an upswipe, and we'll see what's... Uh... And there's lots of programs. Let's get rid of these, because they all drain CPU time. So we'll start clean, and now hit... Aquamap. And you see there's a brief uh, map redraw page you didn't see on the other program because the Air 2 is not quite as fast. Let's hit the upper left hand corner. There's where we're at right now. Let's move sideways and we drew the draw and see it lags a little bit. Well, it's not bad. And then let's uh, go to uh, you see there's a little bit of map redraw there, but not bad. And then we're down to Homer Smith and, uh, and Beaufort. You're going back down. So it's not bad. And you can do the, that draw. And remember what this looked like. Virtually instantaneous. And that one is pretty good too. Not quite as fast, uh, instantaneous as the uh, as the uh, iPad Pro. Now, let's wake up the uh, Galaxy Tab A 10.1, and I got to unswipe it. And here we go. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of all those excess programs. And here they are. And on this one, you just upswipe everything, take rid of them. And now we go to the uh, home screen and let's operate Aquamap. And it takes a second or two to come up. You saw briefly the map uh, waiting for reload. Up to your left hand corner. That's where we're at right now. Let's move sideways and do the rotation. Yeah, no, it's not bad. Works. Now let's do briefly. Whoops. Ah, map you see there's a map redraw there briefly. And you get a map redraw briefly. But again, not bad. And there's a Homer Smith at the Bulford. And you see it briefly get a map redraw, but not bad. Go further down the page. So generally that's pretty useful. Now the map redraws and stuff is directly related to the power of your tablet. The more powerful the tablet, the faster the CPU, the more graphics capability you have, 
the less you'll have of that. And the ultimate you want would be the iPad Pro, which has the most capability of any tablet out there. And uh, one like the Galaxy Tab A is uh, usable for uh, for navigation as long as you don't have anything else on it. Well, let's try another program. First, we'll get rid of uh, that. And we'll try on the Galaxy uh, Boating US, Boating HD, Navionics. Takes a minute there to initialize. And there we go. Hit the, where we're at. There we are. And not bad. That depends on the level of detail you want to show. The more objects are on the screen, the more of a, see it takes a little bit to redraw, the more of a demand it puts on the processor to, to supply all those objects to the screen. So it takes a minute for it to work. Now let's compare that to uh, totally unfair comparison. First we'll get rid of the uh, Acromap and then we'll hit Boating USA and this is the uh, iPad Pro and we'll position it uh, right there and make it big here we go and we'll go along to you see the redraws are virtually instantaneous which you would expect from a more powerful uh, tablet okay let's look at the uh, the year two, an older tablet. Getting rid of an iPad on it. Here we go. And now we'll hit uh, Navionics. And it takes a second or two to come up. And here we are, little red diamond. Now let's try, uh, moves around pretty good. Let's try the screen redraw. And you see uh, a little bit of delay there, not much. Here's the delay. Here's the delay. So you get what you pay for. You know, you buy a more powerful processor. Uh, screen redraws are quicker. And panning is quicker. So, I mean, it's not the program, you're asking the, the computer, the uh, tablet, to do a lot of screen redraws. Whether it's Navionics or Acromap, it, you know, the same thing is going to happen. And back to the Galaxy, which has uh, turned itself off to save battery power. You see the same sort of thing. It's doing screen redraws. But not bad. You can compare your uh, tablet performance to what I'm doing here on a route between uh, Southport and Beaufort running up and down. And again, back to the uh, the standard here, which is it, the uh, iPad Pro. Well, you don't you don't see virtually any delay, and that's what you would expect from one you pay uh, that much money for to have a powerful processor uh, in the uh, bucket. But if you buy one that's an uh, older one or uh, one with a not as powerful a CPU there's going to be more lag. Uh, that's just physics. So that's all we have for the day. Uh, let me know what you think.